Forest New Idols in Skyrim, or Finis as it's known, is a mod that allows you to add custom animations into Skyrim. It's a powerful and popular mod, but it's also been seen as a somewhat more complicated mod to install than many others. However, nowadays it's actually pretty easy to install, and so that's what I'm going to show you in this video, how to install and manage Finis with Vortex. Of course, the first thing we're going to need to do is to download and install the mod, so you go along to the Nexus page, go to the file section, and find the Finis behavior file, the latest version. I'm going to use special edition in this video, but the process is the same for the original Skyrim. Find this file and then hit Mod Manager Download to start downloading it to Vortex. Once it's downloaded, click Install to install it, and then Enable. This is where things get a little different when compared to other mods, because in actual fact, Finis is more of a tool that needs to be run each time you install a new mod with custom animations. Luckily, we can get Vortex to do this automatically for us by going along to the dashboard and finding Forest New Idols in Skyrim in this tool section. Now, if you get here and this is missing and it looks something like this, don't worry, you can add it by going to the plus icon, clicking on it, and then selecting Forest New Idols in Skyrim. Then you click the three dots here to open up the menu and select Edit. What we need to do here is set the target. Now, it may have automatically detected the tool for you and filled this in, but if not, go along to the folder, click on it, and navigate to where you've got the game installed. I have mine installed on my F drive under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition, and then you need to go to the Data folder, the Tools folder, and Generate Finis for Users. Inside that folder, you will find a file called Generate Finis for Users.exe. Select it and click open, it should fill this in here. And then you just hit save. Now you need to go along to settings and stay in the interface tab, go down to where it says run for NIS on deployment event, and make sure this is selected so that you can see this green tick. This tells Vortex that whenever you deploy, it should check your mods to see if something has changed that would require Finis to run again. And if so, it automatically runs it for you. All that's left to do now is configure the patches, which you do from the mods section, where you will now find a button called Configure Finis. If you click here, it opens up this pop-up window. Many of these patches are specific to certain mods, and if you're not using those mods, do not enable the patches. The only options I'd recommend selecting right now are the gender-specific animations, which lets mods add animations that are specific to one gender, and the skeleton arm fix that will fix some glitches if you're using custom skeletons. And once I have my patches selected, I hit save, and believe it or not, I'm actually done. Finis is installed and ready to go. Now, I don't have any custom animations installed right now, so Finis really doesn't have anything to do, but I'm going to run it anyway by deploying my mods. And seeing as I've set it to auto run Finis when I deploy, I should see at some point it check for new animations. There you go, updating the animations. And it creates a new mod called Finis Data and it enables it. This is exactly what should happen, so I now know Vortex is set up correctly and will handle any custom animations for me from now on. But of course, I still don't actually have any custom animations, so let's fix that. Gonna go back to Finis and go down to the optional files and find a file called Finis Spells. This is a simple mod that adds a bunch of animations that I can cast on NPCs. I'm gonna hit Mod Manager Download to get it into Vortex. Once downloaded, I'm going to hit Install, and when it's done that, 
enable and Vortex will automatically start to deploy because I've set it to do that. And you can see that it disables the Finis data mod, runs Finis, and once it's done, it re-enables the Finis data mod once again. And that's it. It's basically done its job. Finis did what it was supposed to do. So I'm going to start up the game and see what I now have. Once in game, if I look to my spell section, I now automatically have two spells equipped. One in my left hand, which selects an idle animation, and one in my right hand that actually casts it on an NPC. So, I'm going to select an animation. I don't know what any of these do, so I'm just going to randomly pick one, and then I'm going to use the spell... And, and make Yorl and Greymane do something very, very silly. Uh, oh, can I not cast... White? Oh, yes, you have to... There you go. You can now wander around Whiterunner having endless fun making absolutely everybody do... Whatever that is. One thing I will mention is that if you ever install a mod and halfway through the process you see a conflict appear between Finis Data and the Behaviour mod, the base mod, don't worry about it. You can actually ignore this, finish off the installation process and let it redeploy. Once it redeploys, it will fix that conflict itself. If you want to remove or disable a mod that adds custom animations with Finis, the process is actually identical to removing all other mods. You just go along and disable. The difference is you may get a warning telling you that Vortex has detected some changes outside of Vortex to the Finis data mod. This is not a problem. It will suggest using the newer file and you, you can do that. It actually doesn't matter because as soon as this goes through, Finis data gets um, deactivated and then regenerated. So everything's refreshed anyway. You may get that warning when re-enabling mods as well. Again, just confirm that you want to use the newer file. It really won't matter. As I said, it gets generated each time you deploy. If you want to uninstall or disable Finesse, it's pretty easy, but there are two things you need to remember. One, you will need to remove or disable any mods that rely on Finesse, and two, you need to go to settings, go down to where it says run Finesse on deployment event, and deselect that. You can then go to the mods, disable any of the Finesse dependent mods, I'm going to start with the spells, and once again, you may get a little warning telling you something has changed. If so, confirm, use the newer file. It really doesn't matter at this point. You then disable Finis data or remove Finis data. It's up to you. And once that's complete, do the same for the main behavior file. Once that's done, it's pretty much finished. You can go along to the dashboard if you want, and you can remove this so that it doesn't appear on the dashboard. Uh, it's completely up to you. You can run Forest New Idols in Skyrim from the dashboard. Just go along and hit the run icon, and the window will pop up. You can set the patches and then hit update finish behavior. Wait for it to finish, and then hit exit. This works just fine, although when you go back to your mods and you deploy, you will get a warning that some of the files have changed, as you might expect, in the finished data, but you will also be told some files have been removed from finished behavior. I would recommend you use newer files on the finished data ones, but revert the changes, i.e. undelete the files that have just been deleted and then confirm. But honestly, I find it much simpler to leave the auto generation on and just hit deploy again. If I think something went wrong and I want to refresh Finis, I just redeploy, it will redo it. And this does have the advantage that Vortex takes care of those deleted files for me. It knows what to do, so I don't have to think about it. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for this video. You should now be able to install Finesse and use various mods that require it to add a lot of different animations, whether it be dancing, new spell animations, or even flying. It's completely up to you. I will be back with more tutorial videos, and as usual, I do hope you can join me for them. I look forward to seeing you there, and until then, remember as always, have fun.